Hello my friends, so Hatari Water this time we are going to do a quick tutorial about how to import data as elevation in Model Muse. So we have a we have a mail from one of your friends where they have they wanted to they wanted to to import elevation data for this boundary. This is the boundary of this salt lake. This is located where where is this located? This is located in, uh, I don't know, maybe India. Oh, let me see. This is located in. Where is this located? I am really sorry. It, it seems to be India. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so we have the data here. The data is in is in actually the data is in geographic coordinates and let me let me tell you that we cannot we could not uh, work on geographical coordinates in modern Muse. We need to work on meters. So what we are going to do is I'm going to import this save as and I will ch I will as a s shape file is 42.9 is north let me let me check if it is north are we on the north yeah we are on the zone 43 so this is the so it's three two six forty three. Mm -hmm. Forty three north. Okay. Accept. Okay, and then we are going to put it as chamber boundary. For us, it's better to put chamber boundary of UTM yeah. 54 UTM 43 not okay okay cool now we have it as a UTM um, polygon okay so far we have some GPS elevation data here and we what we want is to import this elevation data into the model so what we are going to do is we are going to Okay. Cool. Attitude. Elevation. This is longitude. Cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Seems okay. Save it. I have to save it. And once again, I have to save it as. Not as Excel file, but as CSV file. Yep, cool. Okay, now with this option in Model Muse, we can import the CSV file. And then we have latitude, longitude, and elevation. X is longitude, Y is latitude. Uh, what else? Nothing else. And this is in the geographic coordinates. Okay, so we put in the top, and this is in the top. And then here I save as. I save as. 3, 2, 40, 32643 
and this will be elevations elevations radius 84 UTM 43 knot okay cool now we have it and we save it as well okay we open model muse in order to open model muse I So where is more muse here? Sorry. Uh, let me call the muse. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Now on this we create a new mod flow model. Uh, we select the no grid option. Okay. Okay, and this is our no re option. It's not so fancy, but and then we go to file, import, shape file, and on the shape file we go to recent places. And then we will we first we we import the boundary. Ah is occupied by Kuji, so I have what I have to do is to close my Kuji's. I don't want it. Okay, and now I do it again. File import share file. The boundary set the value of enclosed cells up to two. That will go to no. No, no, just put zero. Set the value for enclosed cells. Okay, and then we put okay. Nothing will happen because we need to okay. We need to see where this object is. Okay, it's here. Let's say that we want to use this to create a uh, Cell size of one of 100 meters is okay. Yeah, okay. And then we explode the cell. So with this, we create a grid. Okay, cool. Maybe 100 meters was too much. So what we are going to do is to put 300 meters or 500 meters. We can change color. Change color is okay, and then we can explode the. We we wanted the the grid to be horizontal, so I uh, I unlock this. Okay, oh, sorry. Uh, with zero. Okay, cool. Now what we will file import share file and elevations. I imported a set value by interpolations, number of formula is zero because we want that elevation, we want that elevation, just elevation, will be our model top with interpolation, let's say that fitted surface. Yeah, nothing will happen. And what had happened? Okay. Ah, no. I'm uh, sorry. No, 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 no. It has happened. Have, do you see this? Do you see that the elevation is already here according to the points you have inserted? Because here, like, let's say, on here, if I select this. is 364 and if I go here is 
three something like that 366 okay so this is uh, what is important here is uh, that you know that you cannot do not work models or groundwater models as far as I know on geographical data you have to transform it into UTM uh, then like you can create you can use the no grid options plus that you can import directly as a shape file so you you can have this I strongly recommend you that you might need the S is like the Aster global elevation map because it's more powerful you will have more resolution of your elevations so far thank you for your for following us and my email is is this one yep. if you have another topic where you wanted to know more about groundwater model or what resources software and if we can make something and we can help you, we will do it. Okay, so thank you for following. Please support our initiatives in water resources by um, following this YouTube channel. Goodbye.